Okay, so I've got the tripod up really high here. I've got it on a box and I've moved the light, so I've got a bit more light here for you. Uh, we're going to cut some bricks, ready to take the, uh, the slips. I'm going to start here and then I'll, I'll work there. So excuse me if you can't see what I'm doing on this one, but you will on this one. The dust of these uh, all sorts is minimal, it really is. It's not as though you're using a, a grinder, it's, it's just the dust goes everywhere. With these, it tends to drop to the floor. So, okay, back to what we're doing. So, I need to get the brick as flush as I can along with the uh, old line to enable me to get a slip in there. Uh, I'm cutting back until I get a, a pretty hard bit of brick. So I'm going to do this one in a minute and you'll see that for yourself when I do it. <laughs> I roughly know the size of the slips I'm going to use. Uh, cut when the machine comes Wednesday. So I want to leave probably about 30 mil, 25, about 30 mil slips. Uh, like I say, structure of the brick is fine, strong enough. If I do come across a brick that's really soft, I will cut the whole thing out and replace it with a, a, a brick, a whole brick. So let's do this one. I'm going to cut the perps. So I'm, so I'm looking at this now, I'm, I'm now deciding that I'm going to take the front of that off, that off, that off. I'm going to leave that one. So, yeah. I don't think that's, that's in too far and that's in too far. So I'm going to cut these, cut these ones back.
Caramba. These are so good these. These are the 400 gram hammers. You can swing these all day long. Uh, and they're really accurate as well. You know, you've got an accurate swing there. Really get the job done. And the beauty is you've got the, the pointy bit, the spike on the end there, which actually does the perks really, really well. Scratching hammer it just doesn't work, it doesn't cut the mustard. Really got not, not got enough muck in there really. Got 
to slip in oh, a nice seat muck all the way around the slip. That's it. Yeah, I feel better now. Really uh, difficult working up here with the, uh, the light as it is. I've got the light shining at me from side on, so I can't really see the depth of it. Then something might be broken. If that's the case, pull them out, just replace them. It's, uh, it's no worth bottling it up, it really isn't it? And that's it, that's basically how I prep it ready to take the slits. Just leaving, you know, enough to keep the integrity of the wall. It's, it is solid now, it, you know, I can fill it. It's, uh, if it was soft, you'd fill it. But, uh, it's just to just flake away. So don't go too many on your, de on your decisions on what bricks you take out and what bricks you, you leave. If they're soft, if they're really soft, then. Uh, take them out. I always take them out because they're not going to uh, benefit the wall in any way. That's it. When you finish off, the last thing you want to do is get the muck in there and then uh, you put your slip in and you find it just protruding out quite a way. So you need roughly the same depth all the way along. Just look out for little high spots, you know, just trim them back. Put in. Let's see if I can find one for you. So that's the slip we're going to be using round right around that. So that leaves me roughly 20 mil of mortar behind the, the brick itself, the slip. Plenty enough. I've got a little bit of a high spot there. Right there, we've got a high spot, so I'll trim that. Measure, measure twice, cut once. So that, that's fine, that's ideal. I've got a nice board view on the back of that now to put the muck in uh, and position the brick. The same with these, that's fine. Plenty of gap there. There's plenty there, 20 mil there. This one's gonna cut out a bit more. Uh, but you've got the general gist of it. Don't be scared. I think the, uh, the 
it also does make it a lot easier for you. Uh, you can hire them out. You know, it's worth prepping your area up first, then hiring it out for a day and do all your cutting out. It's a lot easier, less messier. Like I say, it all falls to the floor. See, I'm wearing glasses. If it was a grinder, I'd, I'd, the glasses would be on by now. You know, probably cleaned about four times. Like I say the, uh, the old saw is one of the best tools in my arsenal. Put a link up for you on the video. Uh, we can purchase them. I mean, there's, there's loads of places. You've got to shop around. I bought mine at the time. I think I bought it from uh, FFX. Uh, yeah, I'm almost sure I did data. Bit of a promotion going on. You got, uh, I think it was about twenty percent off your first order. So yeah, I bought it from there and saved myself a couple of hundred quid. That's it. That's fine. And, and that basically that's it. You need to get that deep all the way along. So just a quick video, show you how to do that. Like I say, take soft part of the brick away then you're left with the pretty solid stuff leave that there there's no need to take it out it really isn't especially these ones here because you know it's a nine inch wall you want to keep the integrity of these definitely uh, yeah and that's it so I'm going to crack on we, we made this a short video this one Shorter than the average ones, anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Got a little bit of uh, no air. I had to do it now. So I'll just take this uh, video stand out and put this down. This is right in the air. And uh, I'll be back with another video shortly, I think. Do something else. Show you the wall when it's done. All right. Happy pointing.